Well, y'all, I'm going to give you a little bit of a shed hunt lesson here. So, um, I'm on an island, that's all I'll say, and uh, I'm on the high ground. We've had recent flooding, and what I'm doing is I'm going on the main highway, which is basically, many people call this a buck trail. It's straight, but other deer are using it, obviously, because it's the high ground. But uh, I've seen big deer use this trail. And so what I'm doing is following the main game trail, because oftentimes that's the first place I'll find something. That's not always the case. Uh, antlers often drop off when they reach tough terrain, or they may just be feeding. And, uh, and you know, they may get startled while they're feeding, and then they stand up and pew, fly off. You know, you never know. You never know. When it goes, it goes. So. What I'm doing, I just found a little small shed right off of a main trail. And a pretty time-tested method works very well. Now, it doesn't mean I'm not going to grid out this island, because I am. But at a very, very high payout to do what you can to run the main trails first. And then figure out some of the areas, like bed down areas. Or main nice little meadows that you know have fresh grass. And this time of year, it's growing like crazy. We had a drought. There was very little food on the ground. And uh, they were very stressed. And, I mean, they had early drops. They had drops in December. I'm pretty sure December even. Or maybe even, yeah, early. And in some areas. So the food was scarce. They were stressed. Now food is growing like nuts. And they're trying to put on weight because they're, they're, a lot of them are skinny. A lot of them, you can see the ribs. So, uh. You know, now the food's out there. It's growing like nuts, and they're eating like crazy. So I'm going to do a lot of meadows, too. So anyway, this video goes down a little long. And I'll just give you a quick, just a quick view. You know, this is the forest. And uh, the sun is to my back, and that is on purpose. Because when you're shed hunting with glare in your eyes, it really cuts down your ability to see. And it just sucks. It doesn't feel very good. So... It, it, whatever time of day it is, this is morning, so I'm going to do this area and then zigzag back and then do another trail going that way. And I'm going to zigzag, I won't have as much glare, but I'll zigzag in the middle and then come back with the sun to my back again. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later and y'all have a nice one. Bye.